Somebody once asked me to paint my dreams, and so I picked up a pen and started to write. I painted a picture using a thousand words, all verbs just to remind myself that without action, my dreams would forever remain paintings. Ink on canvas, working to be something, wanting to be something, needing to be something. A work of art in waiting, waiting to see the sun, waiting for the day this dream of a painting becomes a reality. But in reality, waiting. For an artist with the guts to take a chance on his painting, a painting that he's willing to show to the world about his dreams of becoming a lawyer in New York City. But if you really take the time to analyze his painting carefully, you'll notice that the courthouse is not even half the size of the playground next door, and he, he knows this. Because if it wasn't about the money, he'd paint a high school, a place where he could teach AP psychology and coach the JV basketball team on the side. And even as much as he knows that he wants to, as much as he knows that he can, he can never fully stomach the taste of his own pride, always spitting it back out onto his painting, a painting that he can never get just right, and so he continues to write, wherever he goes. I've heard that he's known to leave paintings right under people's noses, light sketches on their hearts, a message addressed to the soul, a thousand little pictures of just one word. One verb that keeps this artist painting because he knows that his ink will never, that his pen will never run out of ink as long as he just continues to dream. Thank you. Woo, woo.